What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we have the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Of course, they only come in a six speed manual. So I was looking through my channel the other day and I noticed I haven't made a how to drive manual video in approximately five years. And since I have the Type R behind me, I figured it was only appropriate to go ahead and redo it. And let's make another one here. So in this video, I will be going over how to drive the manual, including how to brake, how to actually turn the car on, how to shift, and most importantly, how to not stall out. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And let's go ahead and hop in the car. All right, so the first main difference between a manual transmission, obviously compared to an automatic transmission is going to be two things. You got the shifter, of course, and you got the pedals. So definitely going to be a different setup there. As far as the shifter goes, it typically will be labeled. There's a little map typically, although ours is slightly crooked on this thing, but there's a little map, so to speak, letting you know where first gear is, where second gear is, and so on. Also where reverse is. The reverse is a big one because it is going to differ dependent upon which car you are actually in. So in this particular case, what we do for reverse is simply slide it all the way into the back right-hand corner. A lot of vehicles out there will make you do different things as well. For example, Subaru, I know, allows you to lift up underneath of the shifter, and then you slide it into a corner. And some vehicles, you have to push down and then slide it into a corner. So it is going to differ depending upon which particular vehicle that you were in. But having said that, other than that, for the most part, they are pretty similar. There could be five-speed manual, six-speed. There's even seven-speed manuals in the case of a C7 Corvette. So plenty of different manual transmission setups, but the pedals are going to be the same. Of course, you got your gas pedal, brake pedal is going to be in the middle, and then the clutch pedal. That's going to be the third pedal all the way to the left. And then you got the dead pedal all the way, all the way to the left, of course. But the clutch pedal is going to be the main difference, of course, comparing it to an automatic transmission as well. And so to go ahead and start this thing up because it is getting quite hot in here, what you want to do is make sure that your parking brake is on and that you are in neutral. I'm going to put my foot on the brake and push in the clutch all the way and go ahead, in this case, and press the engine start button. And now, so since I am in neutral, I can go ahead and completely let go of the clutch without fear of actually stalling out. And so that is going to be the main thing I want you guys to remember watching this video concerning stalling out. So long as you are in neutral, you will not and cannot stall out. So that's the first takeaway I want you guys to take. If you're neutral, you're not stalling out. So that's why I always start up in neutral. So before you even get started though, um, of course, find an empty parking lot. It's probably the best place that you're gonna be able to learn, uh, preferably a flat empty parking lot. Go ahead and get familiar with the clutch feel because the throws are going to differ, again, depending upon the vehicle that you're in. A lot of vehicles will have longer throws, but sportier cars like the Type R or specifically the Honda S2000, but I learned to drive manual on, have extremely short throws and they're a little bit more enjoyable, of course, if you have a shorter throw transmission in my personal opinion. I think everybody would agree with that. But so the throws are going to differ. Also, get familiar with your driving position in whichever particular manual transmission that you hop in because again, that is so much more important in a manual car than it is in an automatic car, finding that perfect driving position. Because for example, in a manual car, what I always like to do is make sure that I am able to push the clutch in all the way, because if I am not, that's going to be a problem. So you might have to move the seat up a little bit. So that is why it's so important to have a perfect driving position in a manual car. So now let's go ahead and get into how to actually drive a manual. First off, I should probably buckle myself up and hopefully you guys have a good view in the GoPro here as well. So. What you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your parking brake is not on, of course. In this particular case, we have an electromechanical parking brake, so I'm just gonna put my foot on the braking clutch and go ahead and press that. And since we're level, we're not gonna drift anywhere. Otherwise, if we were on a slope, we probably would drift a little bit. So don't wanna mention that as well. But now that the parking brake is off, all we are going to do is go ahead and put the car in gear. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and clutch and push it up into first gear. And so now I can let go of the brake and to actually start moving, what you're gonna to wanna to do is slowly let go of the clutch while slowly giving the car a little bit of gas as well until you find that grab point. And then once you find that grab point, you are able to actually let go and the vehicle is moving. It's really that simple. So every grab point, every clutch is going to be different dependent upon the car you are driving, of course. So you will have to get used to it. But having said that, it is definitely something that you do get used to. Every manual is going to be different. Some are more, some are more difficult, honestly, than others, but for the most part, even the more difficult ones, like I know all the Subarus that I drive, typically it's a little more notchier of a feel, but even those, at the end of the drive, I am 100% used to it. So really you can get used to anything, but since we're in first gear here to go ahead and shift into second gear, it's just a repeat of that process. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and push the clutch all the way in, shift into second, and then again, find that grab point and let go of the clutch. 
that's it. So now let's cover braking a little bit because a lot of people are kind of concerned with braking because they're like, what if I have to come to a quick stop? So here's what's gonna happen if you have to come to a quick stop. What you're gonna wanna do is put your clutch all the way in, make sure you're in neutral, let go, and you can hit the brake completely. And we're sitting here and we didn't stall out because again, I'm in neutral. That's the key. So whenever you come to a stop at a red light or a stop sign, you always wanna make sure that you are in neutral because as long as you're in neutral, again, you're not going to stall out. That is the secret. So now let's go ahead and cover parking because that is another thing in a manual that is a little bit different. Let's go ahead and back in a spot, actually. I think that would be a little bit more enjoyable for this particular tutorial. And so there are a thousand different spots I'm just gonna pull in here. So what I'm gonna do, clutch, neutral. So now that I'm ready to find a spot, I got my clutch in, I'm going to put this all the way into reverse same deal you slowly let off the clutch while slowly giving it a little bit of gas and let's see if I can center this sucker up clutch is going in a little further and neutral and we are good that's it really it's just remembering neutral is your friend and you are good and now that we are in a parking spot remember to put on your parking brake so that you don't drift anywhere another thing a lot of people do is go ahead and put the vehicle in gear after you turn the vehicle off don't put it in gear before you turn the vehicle off because that is going to stall you out but as long as you got the vehicle off you could put it in gear that's kind of like another version of an e-brake for a manual transmission car because for whatever reason the e-brake were to fail if your car is in gear you're still not going to go anywhere but having said that if you go ahead and put the car in gear without you actually turn the vehicle off let me show you what happens it did stall out because this is too new of a car but it would have stalled out if it was an older car you get the point so anyway since i mentioned stalling out if you were to actually stall out it's really not that big of a deal just don't panic i mean yeah it's a little bit embarrassing but all you need to do if you stall out let's say i stalled out here the vehicle's off i'm i'm stalled out now what do i do i'm in the middle of traffic real quick just put your foot back on the brake in the clutch you go ahead and turn the vehicle back on again you're in neutral so all you got to do is press your foot on the clutch put it in gear slowly let off the clutch put your foot on the gas and you're good to go yet again so that's all you got to do if you end up stalling out just remember don't panic all you need to do is just put your foot on the clutch and shift into first gear and yet again you're good to go by the way for anybody curious stalling out actually will not hurt your car whatsoever it's not going to hurt your engine really the only possible way it could hurt your engine is if you stall out like a hundred times a day and you just do it consistently obviously that's going to put some wear and tear on the car but essentially it's just like turning your vehicle off so it's really not going to hurt your engine. So don't even worry about stalling out. It's just going to be a little bit embarrassing. That's all. All right. So now I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of a feet view for you guys. So you can just see the pedals working in action here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in first gear, slowly letting off the clutch, slowly pushing on the gas and we are going. So you don't rest your foot on the clutch. That's another thing because that will put some unwanted wear and tear onto your vehicle. You don't want to do that to actually shift, push the clutch in second gear it's slowly let off push on the gas and you're good to go yet again so hopefully this is a decent view of the foot action here again if you want to go ahead and brake all you need to do is simply push in the clutch put in the neutral and then you can push in the brake and you will come to a stop so that's pretty much all it is hopefully that helps you guys out and if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comment section below